Okay, we are live, and we are going to go on Facebook now and make that also live. If you guys can see us, say hello. Reach out to us in the chat. Tell us where you're coming from. Welcome to Tuesday Training. We're super excited. As some of you guys know, we had a huge sale yesterday, our first ever BOGO. So we're super excited to talk to our leaders today about kind of how things went for them yesterday with their team, how they promoted, and how that we can keep this momentum going in months to come. And pardon our dogs, they are involved in this call today. Uh, so if you hear them in the background, they're just saying hello. That's all. Go live anyway? Yep. All right. Here we go. Let's right, see let's if we can get this chat. chat. Make sure we can see everybody. All right, hey everybody. Good to go. I was just doing the Facebook streaming. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day. And uh, yeah, guys, we wanted to do something a little bit different on this Tuesday training. Usually we've been coming on here and doing a training topic, but we thought after this crazy sale that we just had, we should bring some of the top leaders from the company on and, and talk to them a little bit about what they did to uh, maximize the promotion in their organization. And also, now that they have momentum, how do they keep the momentum building? And before we bring up the different leaders, uh, I just wanna congratulate everybody for a huge 420 sale. That was probably the craziest day that, that we've ever had. We broke every record in company history. So, you know, we did, uh, how much did we do in sales at the end of the day? over 5 million and we're still tallying up from other markets as well so it's super super crazy and if you think about when we started HempWorks we merged into My Daily Choice in May 2017 so there's no 420 sale then right but the next year was 2018 some of you guys remember that was a big year for us and we were actually at the National Cannabis Festival Josh and I were out passing out bracelets and educating people on CBD we did 30,000 uh, in sales, 30,000, our first 420. Our second 420 sale, which was last year, we did 1.6 million. And then this year, you guys, of course, you know, we did 5 million in sales for HempWorks products. So super crazy momentum and growth. And we are so excited to, to share the love with all of you guys. Yeah. So that 5 million in sales, it was, it was crazy. It was like right down to midnight. We were refreshing like every 30 minutes to see all the orders that were coming in. And there was actually one point during the day where we were doing 200 orders a second. It was absolutely insane. And we were like bringing more servers in. We were doing a ton of website stuff to accommodate all the orders. And um, it just, it was an amazing, it just turned out to be an amazing day. And, um, I want to, before we bring up the leaders, I want to just give a couple shout outs to our customer care team because they were, they were literally on the calls at like 10 PM, still taking orders and servicing customers and affiliates. It was really awesome. We had a ton of really uh, great feedback from, uh, you know, affiliates and leaders talking about customer care. And then also uh, our warehouse, they have over 30,000 orders to clear this week. So I just want to let you guys know uh, it may take an extra four to five business days for some of you to receive your order, but our team's going to be working super hard this week to get every single order cleared and out the door and still accommodate all of the regular orders that are coming in even after the sale. We're noticing that some other product lines uh, unrelated to the tinctures are catching some serious momentum, like for instance, our, our HempWorks coffee. We're now doing over a, a thousand units a day of coffee just from a lot of the new customer momentum and and uh, new affiliates that joined the business um, from yesterday's sale. So it's just it's just amazing to see uh, all the growth. We're giving away millions of dollars worth of uh, free product, getting to see all the uh, the rank ups and I think social media activity. Like, how many people have you seen on social media talking about? like how much growth they've had in their team or their sales or the impact of, of what happened yesterday. Are you seeing that too? It's crazy the amount of rank advancements we're seeing. I mean, if you think about it, five million in one day company-wide, I mean, that's a huge impact for our leaders. So you guys, I know we've seen your excitement on Facebook and everywhere. So we're just excited for you guys and excited to be able to pull this off. But also 
big thanks to uh, our corporate staff that put this all together and we're on the phone during our fire drill i know some of you guys are like the website's crashed yeah we broke the internet literally um <laughs> so if you experience that <laughs> we apologize but we did get it up and running very quickly and we're able to accommodate people that maybe weren't able to get their order in if you think it was crazy on your end just imagine how crazy it was on our end we had <laughs> we just had phones going everywhere with all of our departments we were on we were we were uh, on calls real early in the morning trying to iron stuff out but it was a it was a super successful day and we learned a lot we learned a lot about uh, what we can do on some of our next sales we've got some really great ideas so thank you guys again for all participating uh, in the sale promoting it on social media um, all the amazing leaders that ranked up our amazing corporate team just really excited about what we're gonna do in April and the next coming months so without further ado let's bring up some of our amazing leaders once again these leaders are going to tell you, you know, how they took this promotion and, and how they built momentum with it through their team. And now that they have momentum, how to uh, keep that momentum building in uh, their organization. So let's bring up uh, Candace Bird Davis first. And just so you guys know, everybody on this call that we've uh, selected is a 250K uh, affiliate or above um, and has generated a lot of momentum from this sale. So we thought, you know, what a great idea to, you know, have you guys hear from them. So Candace, we'd love to hear, uh, we'd love to hear from you first. Awesome. Well, listen, Josh and Jen, I don't know if I'm fired up and excited or jacked out of my mind, but I tell you guys what, yesterday's sale was absolutely amazing. So it's a privilege and honor just to be here with everybody, see everybody's results, see everything that is going on. And just to share a little bit about what my team did to get ready for the sale. And my friends, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. If don't just do this just on a sale day. This is some things that should be a normal routine to your business. But one of the number one things that we did was Sunday night, we knew the sale was coming on because the big special announcement was coming out about the sale. So we made a decision that collectively as a team, we got on a Zoom and we did something that I like to call a GPS a goal planning session. So we sit down and just like, you know, every single day, every single week, you should actually have a goal planning session with yourself or your accountability partner. Get yourself an accountability partner, somebody who's going to hold your feet to the fire when you say you're going to do something. They're going to make sure that you get it done. So we did a goal planning session and actually we threw out something cute with our team. Uh, Josh, we did something like um, one of our strategies was a pay your bill. So Sunday night, we all decided what bill did you want to set your goal to be able to be paid? Was it your cable bill, your electric bill, your utility bill? And we gave them a goal that day so that during the sale, they knew they were getting, you know, they were reaching for something because here's what I want you guys to understand. In regards to a goal, if you don't have a goal, I always say if you aim for nothing, you hit it every single time. And in order for you to hit the goal, you have to know the goal. So not just on a sale day, but what is your goal? What is your weekly goal? What is your weekly strategy? So yes, of course, GPS, goal planning session, can also be a game planning session. So we game planned and we figured out what our goal was. When they finally dropped the bomb and they told us that it was you know, a BOGO sale, we went stone cold nuts because I'm gonna be honest with you, I was planning for my team to have a sale just like we did last year, 10% off. And I tell you what, Josh and Jenna, they're the true goat. They're the true greatest of all time because when that sale dropped, it gave me a real reason to come up with a complete strategy. So let's go to it. Number one, know your goal. Hit your goal. Get your accountability partner. When we did that, I sat down and I broke down the numbers. Here's what I will tell you this. Numbers don't lie. People do. So when we figured out the number of product that they needed to sell in the number of commission that they're going to be able to make it made it easier to hit the goal so then we figured out what their profit would be per bottle and then what we did guys strategize game plan you have a customer base one of the biggest things in this company is you could build a huge customer base because we have products that are powerful products that produce a result the result is going to be your reward the compensation plan so when we started to do that we had our team calling existing customers letting them know about the sale. We have people calling people who are using the natural CBD and said that they wanted to try the flavored CBD. We were giving them that opportunity. What about your customers who are on the 500 and always wanted to try the 750, but didn't actually jump up to that higher amount? Well, now we gave them the opportunity to be able to get two 750s for almost the price that they were paying for one 500. So it was all a game plan and a strategy. Who can you reach out to? The other thing is don't be afraid to open your mouth because I was always told that a close 
people's mouth does not get fed. So what we were doing is we were in people's inboxes. Number one thing is, if you could change two things about your health, what would it be? When Aaron Parker would reply back to me the two things, guess what? I'm finding third-party validation that matches exactly what he said to prove that CBD oil could potentially be a benefit to him. Then I let him know what the sale was going on. So guys, it's all about the strategy. And then on top of that, it's to be a service to your customer. One thing that I realized in this business is when you can provide a service to your customer and make them feel like they are the VIP, when you run a sale, they are always inclined to go ahead and take advantage of it. I wrote down one more thing and I said, um, you can make excuses or you can make money, but you cannot make both. So when we set out to reach out to all of these people, the number one thing is we knew that we were not reaching them or going at them with an assumption that they were not interested. We knew we have the best product on the planet. We have a product that produces a result. And here's what I want you to understand. In your business, in this season and with this product line, you are not selling anything. You're being a solution to somebody's problem. And what I want you to understand is the person who solves the most problems will always make the most money. So my team started to build a list of problems that they can solve. Let's be honest. CBD can help with a lot of things, but let's make a list of how many people you know want to lose weight, how many people you know need more energy, how many people do you know need coffee, and then you start reaching out to these people based off of the product line that we have. Now, I'll wrap up by saying to keep momentum. Here's one thing that my team does on a consistent basis. I know there's a lot of people who say, you know what, I want to build a big organization, but I'm not a massive recruiter like Aaron or Kristen or Robert or Barb or Judy. I'm not a massive recruiter. You don't have to be a massive recruiter, my friends. Understand this. Our products recruit themselves. So once you retail that product, my team focuses on something called retail to recruit. Follow up with your customer. There's fortune in that follow-up. And when you follow up with them, I don't care if it's the weight loss product. I don't care if it's Trim 365. But what you do is you call Aaron Parker, your customer, and you say, hey, Aaron, how much weight did you lose? Aaron says he's lost three pounds in five days. Great. Aaron, who else do you know that we can put this product in their hand and help them lose weight too? Aaron says, well, I know Kristen and Robert and Barb. Okay, great, Aaron. Would you mind giving me their number so I could give them a call so we could get this product in their hand? Aaron says, sure. Wait, Aaron, before you do that, when I call these people and sell them the same product you just lost weight off of or the same product you just got more energy off of, is it okay for me to keep their 50% commission or Aaron Parker, did you want it? They want their own commission back. So then that's when you ask them if they're ready to take a free tour of your business. You use your capture page, you put them in the system. Josh has some incredible businesses or videos back there that share everything about the business and the compensation plan. Here's what I'll say. Momentum is hard to get, but easy to lose. I was always told that if you go one day without working your business, you delay your success by 30 days. Be consistent. Don't stop. Go for your goals. Don't ever quit. So with that being said, Josh, I'm going to turn it back over to you and Jenna. That was awesome. <laughs> Yay. That was fantastic advice. I'm just looking at this chat here, you guys, and it is on fire. So many nuggets came from Candace. Thank you so much for sharing. Who's up next? We've got Aaron Parker, since we were just talking about Aaron Parker and his example that Candace gave us. Aaron Parker, will you please unmute and give us uh, some of your best advice and some tips and tricks that you used on this uh, sale yesterday for your team? I would love to. First of all, it's an honor. I'm so grateful to be here to be a part of this journey. Uh, I cannot believe that in about a week we'll be celebrating our two-year anniversary with My Daily Choice and how this company, this business, and just everything you've done, Josh and Jen, has completely transformed our life. So thank you so much. Um, cannot say that enough. So uh, like Candace said, one thing that we did to really make this thing huge for our team was you guys planted a seed. And when Josh and Jenna give us a little seed, guess how you make that seed blossom? By watering that seed. And the seed they gave us this time, they don't always do this, was they gave us kind of a head start. They gave us a heads up that there was something coming. I'm sure all of you guys saw the big graphic they put out a couple days, it was a day or two before the actual 420 promotion. As soon as I saw that, it was, okay team, let's get ready. 
And so if you didn't do that this time, just be ready for it next time. That if they give us that, if, if they give you the seed, water the seed because that is going to determine how big the tree, the blossom is going to be for your team. And that's what we did. So as soon as they gave us the seed, we started watering. We were getting it out to our whole team, getting everyone ready, getting everyone excited. I was like, and, and it's so funny because everyone's like, well, Aaron, tell us what it is. I'm like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> everyone just assumes that Josh tells us. He doesn't tell us. We have no clue. So the day of the promotion uh, or before, I was like, guys, just be ready. Just be whatever it is, be ready. So the morning of 420, guess what? Our team was ready and my hat comes off to our team because they took massive action and they implemented a few things that we told them to do. You know, it's, it's so funny because some people will pay attention, some people will take action, and those who take the biggest level of action, surprisingly, have the biggest amount of results. And I got so many messages from people on, on the team and they were like, Aaron, I did what you said, and oh my God, I got more customers, I got more affiliates than I ever have in the entire time that I've been in the company, I got more in one day than I did in months. And it's because they took action. And so here's, here's what we did on the day. And, and, and guys, the, the promotion is irrelevant. Yeah, it was an amazing promotion, but it could have been anything. No matter what the promotion is, your level of excitement that you put behind it is going to determine the level of interest that you receive from people when you reach out. So one of the big things that we told people to do was, yes, post on Facebook. Everyone posts on Facebook, but that's only going to get you so far, right? Posting on Facebook is great. Yes, absolutely do that. Candace mentioned it. Everyone needs to write this one down. Money is in Messenger. <laughs> Money is in Messenger. And I told everyone, here was a little, here's a little strategy I gave, I gave our team. I'm giving this to everyone here today. I said, post on Facebook. And then as soon as you do, then you go through your entire friends list and you private message them using their name. So it's personal and say, OMG, Candace, you're not going to believe what just happened. And, and guys, put it in your own words, right? It doesn't have to be word for word, but just share your excitement in a private message. You're not going to believe what our company just did. This is amazing. You've got to go here. Look at my post that I just put on Facebook to get the details and then either drop a comment or message me back. And our team did that and they messaged, you know, all their friends, people that haven't maybe messaged in years or months and it got people's attention. So remember that money's in messenger, do your post and then message everyone about the post because that's going to really draw people's attention to the post. You're going to get more engagement, build that interest. So, um, that was really the nuts and bolts of what we did to build the momentum, to build the excitement for the promotion. And I'm here to tell you that it worked because in the two years that we've been with MDC yesterday was our biggest day ever in the two years that we've been in the company. So this was amazing. And I know that, I mean, what Josh and Jenna did for us on 420, I mean, was incredible. I hope everyone realizes that this was a big deal for them to do this and essentially give away all that product just to help all of us, the affiliates. So this was a really big deal. Now, to build on the momentum, for me, I think that, you know, like Candace said, her, her advice was spot on as far as momentum goes. For me, if you can't tell, I'm a little excited, right? I'm a little excited. And for me, moment, Robert's laughing. For me, momentum, the, here, here it is, guys, it's simple. Your momentum, in my opinion, everyone's going to have their different take on this, is going to be determined by the mission that you're on. So your mission determines your momentum. And what do I mean by that? It means that you can't just stop, right? Candace said it. If you stop going after your mission for a few days, you lose momentum. And when you lose momentum, it's hard to get it back going. So the way that you keep your momentum going for everyone who had a big day or a big week or a big month is you have to grow your, mo your, your, your mission. What, what is your mission that you're on? And for us, it's about changing lives. I mean, if, I mean, let's just be real, right? People need these products. People need these products for their physical being. 
People need this opportunity. I mean, there are more people unemployed right now in this country, in America, than in the history of our country ever. People need what we have. So my suggestion is to go on a mission. Go on a mission deep down inside of why are you here? We're here to help people. The more people that we can help with these products, with this opportunity, the more success that we're gonna have. So go on a mission, be excited, because I believe that your level of excitement is going to determine the level of interest that you are going to get from others. Do you guys get that? Your level of excitement when you're messaging, when you're posting, when you're doing videos, it doesn't have to be crazy excitement like Aaron Park or whatever, you know, find your level. But your level of excitement, your level of passion, your level of belief, the belief that you have in these products and this opportunity, that level is gonna determine the level of interest that people are gonna start reaching out to you. I got messages yesterday from people I haven't talked to in a year or two years. And they're like, oh my gosh, Aaron, what have I done? I should have joined with you two years ago. I'm like, I know, <laughs> right? And, and I almost, and I said, I'm like, listen, I understand. I almost made the same mistake. Thank goodness I got started. Even though I've originally told Jenna no, I, I got started. So don't make the mistake of not getting started. The last thing I'm gonna say is this. Um, I have no idea when it's gonna happen. Maybe Josh will tell us, but I heard that these are gonna be coming back in stock soon. And so a little tip would be to go make a little waiting list. Go out there, talk to people about these new soft gels and let them know that these sold out so fast because they are that good. Make it a positive thing and go get people ready. Just like we got people ready for the 420 promotion, everyone can go get people ready right now for when these soft gels come back in stock. You could have a list of people ready to go who are gonna be ready to purchase this product once it becomes available. Thank you guys, I'm so grateful and I'll turn it back to you. Aaron Parker, thank you so much for coming on and, and chatting with everybody. And I agree with what you said. Uh, one, yes, soft gels are coming back very soon. We're excited to get those back out. And I agree uh, to build your waiting list, get everybody ready. Money's in the messenger. Take massive action. Pay attention. All really great tips to everybody. So thank you for sharing that. And, and congrats to your, uh, to your growth yesterday. All right, next leader we want to bring up is uh, Kristen Butler. She had a, an, an incredible day for 420. Your team absolutely crushed it. So we'd love to hear from you as well. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Incredible doesn't even describe the day we had. I'm still reeling from it. I'm still in shock <laughs> from it, but so incredibly thankful, especially um, during this pandemic. Like we needed this morale boost. My team needed this so bad. The, they're so excited and on fire. Like when a lot of people were just worried about, you know, how do I work my business during this time? All of that went out the window. They're like, forget all that. Like, let's go. And so it definitely drove everyone just to massive action. When I first heard about the sale, well, the, let's say the, the teaser, I asked my team, I was like, what do you think it is? And everybody's guessing. And I saw the color emojis. I'm like, that looks like the labels of the oil. So I think it's an oil thing. And they were like, oh, it's, someone said BOGO. I was like, don't get your hopes up. Like that's, no one's going to do a BOGO. Like <laughs> it's not going to be that. And then when I saw it in the morning, I think I had like a mini heart attack. I was like, oh, we need to go right now. I woke up at eight o'clock. I usually sleep till like 10, 30, 11. I'm not going to lie because I'm up really late at night. Um, but I was up at eight o'clock. I'm like, let's go. Let's do this. We are going to crush it. Um, the night before, I had my team prepped. We didn't know what the sale was, but we knew it was going to be great. So we actually did a, a live in our group from the pool. I was like, hey, we fit this business into our life. So I was like, we're in the pool right now with the family spending time because I'm going to spend zero time with the family on Monday. Like you need to fend for yourself for food. So I told them, I was like, plan on ordering DoorDash. You know, someone else has to homeschool tomorrow. Like, Clear your schedule. You have no responsibilities but to this business tomorrow. And I gave them ideas of what to do. We didn't even have access to um, our teams yesterday, contact manager. So the people that prepped ahead of time were so far ahead of the game because they had a list of people. Um, but I told them, I was like, go export a spreadsheet, you know, get a list of your pre-enrollees, like your customers, everyone. 
do all that. And so the people that hit the ground running the day of when we saw the BOGO, I was like shook. But people were going live first thing in the morning, getting the word out there is so much power and just going live and talking about it. I had people messaging at 3 a.m. when it first dropped. I didn't even know. Travis found out. <laughs> I was sleeping. I was like, why didn't you wake me up? He's like, I knew you would need your energy <laughs> for tomorrow. But um, I had one of my leaders, Tina Joy Carroll, give posting tips, like here's some ideas of what to say verbiage. We were super focused on massive action for everyone. Like there, not everyone can go out there and get 30 customers. I had one leader who went 25K yesterday and she's due with a baby, guys, tomorrow. Mickey Morris, congratulations. She enrolled 34 people yesterday. Not everyone can do that, um, but everyone can get one. Every single person on your team can get one person. And so that's what we focused on is giving them ideas of what to do. Stories were huge. We were doing all the things. A big thing that we were doing is searching in Messenger. So I had like two computers going. I'm like, I searched CBD. Every single message I had with the keyword CBD came up in a list for me. And I just started typing. And it was a super little short message. It said, hey, and their name. I don't know if you saw this or not. And it was a picture of me holding the oil and it said on the graphic, it said 420 sale BOGO on all CBD. And I said, we have fun new flavors too. That's it. I literally didn't say anything else. And people were just responding left and right to me, even if it was um, an affiliate. Cause sometimes I forget, you know, I was doing my thing. It's still applicable to them. Like <laughs> they're still like, Hey, did you see it? And so my girl, Mickey, she was just sending the picture. She literally said no words, just sent the picture because she's like, I'm going to message 400 people today and I'll have time to talk. So they're just going to get the picture. And obviously <laughs> it worked for her. I probably messaged at least 300 people. Like I was all in with this. Um, people to upgrade. Like, let's do this. Get in um, like affiliate. I'm like, you're going to get two bottles, one for you, one to sell. Like literally it's free and the $20 is waived. Why would you not do this right now? People upgrading to executive. I'm like, just get two 1500s and boom, there you are. Old affiliates were coming out of the woodwork. Like, okay, like I went back in. It's people that just like fizzled out or whatever. It gave them that rush of excitement again. And so that is why we had so much success um, to keep this going. We're just going to keep going as usual. What we do every single day, and that's building relationships, gathering leads, being consistent, constantly being there on Facebook. You know, not everyone had a great sale yesterday and didn't get a bunch of people. And that's probably because they don't work their business every single day. And so you don't have that lead list to contact and people are like, oh, what is this? They don't have that trust factor. Like this business is all about relationships and trust. And if you haven't been building that, you probably weren't going to get the results that you want it compared to someone who has been doing that every day. So don't let this happen again. Don't have FOMO. Like start today, go off of this momentum, be like, I'm not going to miss this again. You know, whether we have a sale or not, this opportunity is so incredible. These products are amazing. And you just want to keep going with that. Um, as far as the capsules, like, can you release them, please? Like, we have other things besides the tinctures that we can promote. So even if you feel like, okay, if they were going to buy, they would have bought it yesterday. Although a lot of them are going to have FOMO. I've had a bunch of people miss it, message me today and say, oh, I missed it. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get you in as affiliate. That is why I got into network marketing was to get free product, guys. It had, I wasn't trying to make money. So I'm like, well, you'll earn free product just by selling a few things. And so a lot of people are like, okay, let's do that because they, they're mad that they missed out on free product. And so to wrap up, I, my suggestion to you is, this is something my husband Travis says all the time, is participation equals momentum. And so if you want to be in momentum, you want to continue momentum, you have to participate <laughs> and it's free. Like you don't have to be skilled just to, you know, watch this training and do all the things, stay engaged in your pages and do all the things that it takes to be successful because it's not, it's not hard, but you have to be consistent. You have to do it daily in and out and you'll get there. 
Thank you, Kristen, for sharing your tips and tricks and what you did. And, you know, I couldn't help but think, like, this reminds me of so much when HempWorks launched. You know, it was like Aaron Parker gives me crap all the time on every call we're on together. And he says that I didn't follow up with him when I tried to recruit him initially. And that's because literally I had sales coming out of no, like all over the place that I couldn't even just keep up with one person at a time. It was like, are you in or out? I was like Kristen's um, girl that hit 25K. She's like, I'm not even going to talk to you. Here's a photo. Like, figure it out. Like, are you in or out? Like, I have no time. So Aaron always says, you you never asked if I was going to join like two weeks later. I'm like, bro, I was beyond that already. Oh, sorry, Josh. I was beyond that already. Like, and we had so much momentum. It made me feel just like when HempWorks launched. And I feel like for a lot of us, we had that light, that, that fire kind of relit. And we don't have to wait for a sale to create this momentum. You guys realize that. Like, and I've seen so many leaders get creative with other products with, you know, suddenly we have a surge of coffee sales and suddenly we have a surge of weight loss sales and we've got all these, our weight management, you know, trim 365 spray. We have all these like random products that are starting to take, you know, lift off because leaders are realize, realizing that they can create the momentum themselves. They don't always have to wait for a company announcement or, or BOGO, although it is very nice when that happens, but we can create these you know, we can use the strategies that these leaders are giving us in our daily business so that when there is a big announcement or sale, we can all take advantage of it. So let's get to our next speaker, which is Judy. And I see her dog who is also saying hello. <laughs> Maybe your dog's trying to say hi to our dogs. But Judy, super affiliate, please let us know how things were for you yesterday and kind of some of the things your team did that were working and how you're going to keep this momentum alive. Well, actually, something that you had just said was exactly what um, the biggest point I wanted to make. I mean, why do you want to wait for a sale to get your team fired up? So you can't just like sit back and not be in your team and be present in your team and working with your team on a daily basis, whether it's with training or just any, any kind of post to get people excited to get them to share products. Um, information, whatever it might be, you have to be present within your team at all times to get them to be even excited about a sale when that sale comes up. So it's not what you do in that moment of when a sale is announced, but it's what you do up until that point. Uh, because if you don't have a team behind you that's excited when they announce the sale, then really what do you have? So instead of sitting back and waiting for a sale, just always be present in your team be a leader that's inclusive of, of everybody, um, help everybody that you possibly can know let, that you're there for them because people need to know when they join a business like this, they need to know that they're not alone. That, um, you know, they might be in business for themselves, but they're not by themselves because they have leaders who are there to help them, guide them, and lead them along the way. I mean, we were all new once and if we, you know, how scary would it be to get involved in something, be all excited, but then kind of be out there all by yourself. Um, it's super important that we just be very inclusive of everyone on the team, keep them involved, and then when that sale drops, that's when you have everyone already excited about the business. So when the teaser came out uh, a couple days before the sale, you know, I just dropped the teaser. And of course, everybody wants to know, what do you think it is? Uh, do you think it's 10% off? Do you think it's all the soft gels are back. Do you think they're announcing a new product? Well, honestly, I just figured, like Kanta said, I figured we were going to have a 10% off sale. Because other than that, the biggest thing I think we ever had was the BOGO on body, uh, the bath bombs at one time, and then on the THC free. But we've never had anything bigger than, uh, we've never had a BOGO on our CBD, regular CBD oils. And the fact that we had all of them all strengths, all flavors. Uh, that was by far more than I ever expected to happen. So honestly, when it happened, everything just went crazy. Uh, yesterday was all about just being there, helping people through with the, the glitches that came up because with so many sales coming in, like Josh said, what, 2,000 uh, a minute? I mean, or whatever it was. I mean, just some crazy exorbitant amount. Um, you just kind of sometimes have to take, and I know Candace was over there all organized. Kristen, y'all were all organized. It's just like, take it as it comes. Sometimes you can't, just can't have the organization. So basically, 
once that sale drops, you got to be ready for it. You got to already be excited. You got to already be reaching out to people. And I think the biggest thing for us was being there uh, for those people on our teams to help them get through the sale, to help them if they needed us to uh, do a three-way call or to answer some questions for them. For me, being supportive was the biggest thing yesterday because there were a lot of questions and, you know, I, I wanted to be there and to be able to help those who, um, you know, really needed some support and some uh, advice. So it was just really, 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 really a big whirlwind. To keep people motivated, it all just goes back to, again, you just have to be supportive, you have to be encouraging, and if someone is not motivated enough by the success that they had yesterday, or even if they are new and they didn't have quite as much, you know, maybe they don't have as much of a following yet or a big customer base, but just being able to see, see the excitement of everyone else, if yesterday was enough to excite and motivate people to up and to want to keep reaching those goals, then maybe they're not really ready for that. The best way I think to motivate people is just to keep it in there every day, um, just keeping the excitement going, being there, being supportive. Sometimes it's an incentive. An incentive is what it takes sometimes to be, get people super excited. So I think for our team, it's just to move forward and keep that excitement going. People are close to hitting ranks or they've already hit their ranks. And today is not the day to stop. We've got 10 more days in this month to hit those ranks or get the next rank up. So I just think it's all a mindset to be motivated before and after the sale. Well, Judy, first off, congratulations for having a huge day. Thank you for, for sharing some tips. And I agree with what you said because if, if you guys remember, we actually we sold out of the of the new flavors very quickly after launching them. And then we were waiting for a huge stock replenishment to come in. And as soon as that came in, timed up perfectly with this big 420 BOGO sale. So it was really cool for the people that didn't have a chance to get the new flavors that all just started rushing in, uh, being able to take advantage of the BOGO. So I saw uh, a lot of your top leaders talking about their their success, and it was just really cool. So thank you again for for sharing. And then uh, next speaker we want to bring up is uh, Barb Miller. Barb, I know you had an awesome day yesterday, and I saw I think four or five of your top leaders were posting about their huge increase in sales they had, and they were all saying, "This is how much we grew in one day." And uh, it seems like you had had an awesome day. So we'd love to hear from you and see uh, you know what you have to share with everybody. Thank you, Josh and Jenna, for having me on here. I mean, this morning was like Christmas morning for the whole team because we didn't get to see our volume yesterday. We were all like, no idea, right? Like, no emails are coming in. I had people saying, I don't even know if the orders went through. And so this morning, the first thing I did was check my volume when I opened my eyes. After I checked to see if the sale was extended, which it wasn't. <laughs> but I checked my volume and I was like, it it just can't even be. Like that's impossible. And my my volume literally doubled overnight. <laughs> and I didn't even think that that was possible. And so, you know, just to backtrack a little bit. Um, my team was like on the ball this month. They started at the beginning of April asking me, Barb, what is our, our 420 sale going to be? And I was like, I don't know. They don't tell me that stuff. And, you know, I, I, it reminded me, um, I had so many people saying, what is it? This is what it was last year. Is it going to be the same? And I was like, I have no idea. Let's get prepared. So just to back up a little bit, um, you know, it was almost like a perfect little storm where, you know, not just our team, but the whole company started talking more about other products that we have, like our nutritional sprays and our, our coffee and talking about um, weight loss management and just being healthier and stuff like that. Because I know when everybody's home, you know, we're all snacking and we're eating. And so it was a huge thing when people just really started talking about being healthier. I thought it was great. And a lot of people on the team started doing you know, different posts, curiosity posts. We started helping each other to juice each other's posts. Um, it was really a team effort to 
help us be seen on Facebook. People were coming into the group and saying like, hey, I just posted this um, and I got 200 comments on it. And so it was like, that's a great idea. You know, let's change it up some, post it ourselves. We had huge momentum on Facebook and on all social media really leading up to this sale. And we were already like messaging people. We were driving all our affiliates to use the free app. We like greatest thing ever. Let's start messaging all our customers, all our, you know, potentials, all our pre-enrollees. So we already had this like down path by the time that little teaser post came out. I went live in the group and I was like, let's keep the excitement going because there's something big coming. And so this was like a huge lead up for us that we spent, and it's like every other leader on here has said, you know, if you're not working your business every single day, and all of a sudden a sale comes and you want to get, you know, all these sales, all these people to order, it's just not going to happen. And so it was a huge lead up for us. It was a huge every single day working as a team, posting, getting ideas, you know, um, talking about what we were saying to people in Messenger because it's like Aaron said earlier, you know, you've got to get into Messenger. Just doing a post on social media is not enough. You've got to get talking to people. And so for us, when it came to being announced that day, it was just a huge scramble. I mean, I was telling people, get your orders in early, talk to your customers early, because who knows what's going to happen, right? Are we going to run out of product? Is the whole system going to crash? It could be all of the above. We don't know. But, you know, get working early, get people message, tell them they need to order now. And so and then when the back office went down, you know, I told people, I said, get in your email, search for your customers in there, start finding out the list of people from your email and start messaging them. And so, you know, it was just, it was a crazy day and it flew by and it was insane. And I had so many messages, like when I woke up this morning, it wasn't just my volume I was excited about. It was my whole team and I had so many messages from people on my team just saying, that was the best day yesterday. I had so much fun, they were saying, like they just loved it. Who doesn't love being busy, talking to people, making people happy and then making money as well and your team is making money. So I just had so many messages this morning. People were just so grateful for this sale, this opportunity. Customers were so grateful like to be messaged yesterday. They were like, oh, wow. Yes. Thank you so much for, for telling me about it. And so, you know, just to, to carry this on this excitement, you know, I think it's in those gel caps. Like when they get released, we're going to be on it. Our team is ready. We are making lists of people that want them. We're all ready for Saturday for the next virtual roadshow. And we are getting in messenger. We're talking to people where, you know, simple, simple stuff like do you go through your, your birthday list every day and wish people happy birthday? Do not comment on their timeline. Get in their messenger. You might even want to sing them a little song that's up to you and, and how good your singing voice is. But get in their messenger and talk to people. If it's not their birthday, maybe you just want to check on them. Ask them how they're doing. You know, Ask them how they're doing during all these crazy times because a lot of the time that's going to lead to Maybe they want to make extra money. Maybe they have lots of time on their hands now. Maybe they looked at this opportunity before, didn't have the time, didn't have the interest, and now they do. So, you know, don't let it stop there. We have so many things coming up, and if you're not using that free app to send the videos to people, start using it now. If a customer messages you and they're reordering, make sure you tell them about our loyalty program. There's so many new things here. And, and, and things that have been here for years, like our nutritional sprays that maybe you haven't talked about in a while, but those are bringing people in. They're getting people excited because they've seen you post CBD. They've seen me post it for almost three years now. So when I start talking about losing weight, people are like, whoa, wait a second. What are you talking about? What is this? And they want the information because they haven't heard me say that. They've heard me talk about CBD. And, you know, once they, they start talking about the nutritional sp sprays, they want to get that hemp works coffee. They want to get the CBD because it's all good for your health. And so we're all excited about this. We're going to keep the momentum going. And um, I can't wait till for Saturday. I'll pass it back to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, Barb. And we've seen this company wide. And we know that your team especially has got, you know, huge, you said you doubled overnight. That almost sounds fake to even say that out loud. Like, and I, and you're not the only one. Like, I've had so many messages from people. I, I literally doubled um, overnight. So even in the chat, there's a lot of people saying yeah. that their their volume doubled. 
And we've now heard it three times on soft gels. I'm kind of nervous now. Maybe we need to. <laughs> we may need, your people we may need now, to order a lot more. They are coming. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to quickly say that you know one of the things that you talked about, Barb, with the the company running out of tinctures. We have an incredible uh, director of supply chain who's being promoted um, to. I, I don't know if I'm not allowed to announce his his promotion yet, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, Derek was incredible before the sale. He was he was mapping out how much quantities of each tincture that we could sell during this sale and still have plenty of inventory to keep things going after the sale was over. So he worked, you know, very closely with our IT team to make sure that was all programmed and ready to go. And no, we're not sold out on any of the tinctures, got plenty of inventory. So it was a really successful sale, not just from a volume standpoint, but from a business operation standpoint, the team did an incredible job um, with, with supply chain, making sure that we were ready. And I don't think anybody could have anticipated how much growth we were going to have uh, during the sale, but it, it, it was definitely one for the history book. So Barb, once again, congratulations on, on uh, your success uh, yesterday. Excited to see your team fired up. We've got two more leaders left. So let's get to Robert Hollis and see what you've got to say and would like to share with everybody and, on here today. And one thing with Rob, Robert, you have a big team in Europe and the promotion was live in Europe as well. I was talking to some of your leaders in Europe and they were like, it's a crazy day over here. So uh, tell us a little bit about your experience yesterday and, and what you're going to do to keep momentum going. Well, first of all, I just want to thank both you, Josh and Jenna. Um, you, I say this all the time, <laughs> Josh and Jenna and, and, and Telegram. Um, you never cease to stop blowing my frickin' mind. Um, it, it's just you, you keep doing things over and over and over again that just keeps giving, giving more, giving more, giving more. And one of the things that I do is um, I don't care how big you think you are. Uh, in this industry, well, how I first hear about everything is I'm just monitoring Jenna and Joss's chats constantly. And I'm thinking, you know, if people are like, as soon as they did the teaser, I agree with all the other uh, uh, leaders, uh, Aaron and, and Candace brought this up and a few of the leaders. It's like, listen, how are people going to know what's going on if you're not posting? And so I, I challenge everybody that's watching this, you know, try not to be an individual that you're embarrassed to be involved in this company. Um, if you go and see Jenna's and Josh's posts, they're on my wall. They're on my wall. And, and, and so I'm leading by example. I, I think it's really funny when people say, hey, you should post on Facebook. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, that's pretty weird. That, that's weird. So, you know, <laughs> I, I post on my wall. So, you know, it's not too often. I think Jenna watches me like a hawk. Because just a couple of times, I'm now exercising and, and losing weight thanks to Candace's deal. I'm, you know, on liquid lipo. And, and I'm going like, wow, I've never tried that. I'm, you know, I'll, I'll do it. Now I've lost like 11 pounds. So thank you, Candace. So, it, but one of the things I do is I, I post so quick what Josh and Jenna do. And, and I've seen Jenna sometimes send me a deal and says, hey, did you see my post? And, and it must have been because I was exercising for an hour. And Jenna's going, maybe he didn't see my post. <laughs> and so the first thing, and when I heard about this, is I just went, wow. I, I, I send the teaser to everyone I know. Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I'm dyslexic, so I'm not, I'm not writing all kind of cool copy like you guys do. I just post it. So if Jenna posted something, I'm good at copying it and just doing it so that I don't have to think. I, I do exactly what Josh. I'm going like, I'm not where Josh and Jen are. And so if they're consistently making more money than I am every month, then I'm just going to do what they're going to do, you know? So of course, when I seen the um, buy one, get one free, I really thought it was a mistake. I really truly thought, I thought, my God, how can a company, I've been doing this stuff for 33 years. There's nobody going to give away. I've never seen this company gives over and over and over again. And so when I seen that, I went, wow, what I think why people are not successful is because they just don't look at things as being valuable. We're living in a crisis right now, and people that used to bitch and complain about their job every freaking day are now wishing they could have their job back. Why? Value. 
And so when I was first exposed to this opportunity, and you guys know it wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Terry, my wife, you know, she says, listen, I want to get involved in something. And from the first time that I seen HempWorks and MDC, I look at this opportunity as so much freaking value that I'm constantly every day sharing that value. How I build new legs, how I consistently open up new countries is because the value that I shared with, a with HempWorks and MDC two years ago is the same way I feel about the value today, but it just keeps getting gooder. It just keeps getting better and better. And so I'm excited, as you guys can see, Aaron, I'm trying to get up to your level and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like you know I'm just excited about the value and if you look at everything is I think Barb and, and Judy both brought this up maybe even Christine where you know I look at the bottle before you bought one and got one free as an incredible freaking value what if you thought about our current products and our current business opportunity is valuable without the BOGO I didn't even know what BOGO was. I had to read up on it, what it was, you know. And I'm going, geez, do you have to tell someone, buy one, get one? I don't know. But but I just really, really just, everyone I knew, just like you guys said, I, I, I constantly was messaging everyone I know, just saying, listen, the guy turns around, Joss and Jenna, and they decide during this crisis to allow you to get him for free. Are you kidding me? And now they're doing a BOGO? It's like, I really look at this and don't get mad at me. I think this is an IQ test right now. You know what I mean? Because if someone says no to this business and they decide not to try one of the best products I've ever marketed in 33 years and they say no to a half price deal, I'm going like, you know, listen, you know, your, your IQ is just messed up. So the only thing that I want to say here is, is like to connect, take the time to connect with people. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. And, and I used to always teach on social media that you got to find something that you can connect with another human being about. You know what messages I've been teaching my team to do? And I'm telling you what, they're working like magic. Is reach out to everyone that's following you, sent you a friend request, your friends, everyone, and just say, hey, you know, I just thought of you today. And I just hope this message finds you and yours blessed and safe. I know this is some crazy times, but I just wanted to reach out to say, I, I hope you're doing okay with you and your family. And if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. And the messages that me and my team are getting back is, wow, someone that really freaking cares. Someone that took the time to reach out to me during this time instead of just trying to send me an opportunity link. You know, so connect with them first, then send them your link. So what am I going to do for the continued momentum is every time I grab somebody, I'm trying to teach them how to get vision. Vision inspires success in others now. And you got to tell people what's going to happen in their new life if they put the effort in right today. The thing I've been telling everyone is that 33 years ago, I got hurt and put on workman's comp and I isolated myself. I took my wife that was my girlfriend at the time, told her to fly back to Montana because I wasn't worth, you know, being her spouse or or, or a boyfriend. I, I isolated myself because they told me I couldn't be a mechanic anymore. And so I got super depressed. I lost everything. And I know what isolation is. And so, you know, now the world's isolated. Pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you can do two things. You can focus on the things that you don't want in your life, or you can focus on the things that you do want in life. And I'm telling every one of you that you got to get busy and get serious about this right now because the training's free, the app's free, everything's free. And I would like to challenge everybody that will watch this video live or recorded. When they finally decide to give your crappy job back, why not say, I don't need it? I don't need it. I got busy in this time and day, and I put my head out there. I followed already people that already carved the path before me. The reason we were successful is because Judy, Barb, and Kristen, and Chris, they already laid the work for us. So me and Terry get in, just follow their path. Oh, my God, if they can do it, we can do it. So if not this, what? And if not now, when? And if not you, then who? 
Joss and Jenna, thank you very much. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, you're always motivational as usual. So thank you so much for sharing your words of wisdom with us. And I see the chat just going crazy. So last but not least, we've got our cannabis cowboy himself, the king of the road shows, Chris Robinson. <laughs> Will you share with us what the heck you were doing yesterday? And for <clears throat> for you, Chris, I know that you uh, you did 13 Zooms yesterday. And you have a big team in Africa. You've head up a lot of the international expansion there in Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. So maybe you can talk about what happened in, in those markets. Because I know we had revenue increases, not just here in the United States, but all over. So tell us your experience, what you saw, and how, uh, how you're going to keep the momentum going. So yeah, absolutely. And I just got to say, well done to, the, I'll tell you what's fun. You guys want to know what's fun? Follow these badasses on here and try to come up with something intelligent to say that they haven't already said. So congratulations to all you guys out there whose teams crushed it. It's great leadership on this call. And more importantly, hats off to Josh and Jenny, you guys and the whole corporate staff, because I know right now as we're on this call and eight to 10 hours after this call, there's still going to be people in that warehouse fulfilling all of our commitments to all of our customers and our affiliates, making sure all our orders go out on time and our corporate staff from the VPs to our C COO and Kathleen, just everybody, you guys did an awesome job. And honestly, it surprises me, Josh, after 12 years, you guys still do things that floor me. I'm like, how the heck did he, did you guys pull this off and you still just do it? So congratulations to you guys too, because this is a corporate affiliate combined effort and uh, we just appreciate from the affiliate side to all of corporate and I hope some of corporate's on here thank you guys so much you guys all know who you are so yeah I mean same thing you know I don't want to just, just sound like I'm beating a dead horse here but I hope you guys are looking at this going wow they really just all did the same thing and it worked so I hope you took notes because it's really that simple I got the exact same little teaser thing that they all talked about I went into my Facebook group with my team and I posted something like, I'm just going to set this right here for now. Stay tuned. And that was it. And then just built on momentum. But well, here's what I will say. It's almost impossible to create momentum because of one sale or because of one day. Everybody on this call had a pipeline full. Everybody that ranked up had a full pipeline because they've been consistent before the sale. Now the trick to being to keep the motivation moving is stay consistent after the sale. You do realize, I hope all of the affiliates on this call, there's a thousand or plus of you on here. You realize we have a sale every Thursday, every single one. Do a cutoff call, do a cutoff Zoom. Get all your people, have all your people trained to reach out on Thursdays to all the pre-enrollees and let them know, hey, you're gonna miss out on the sale and people's gonna leapfrog you if you don't take action in the best opportunity the world's ever seen in the next 12 hours, you're out. Every single Thursday we have a sale and if you treat every Thursday like we just treated 420, guess how many millionaires are gonna be on this call on 420 next year? Every one of you that's on here. You have to treat this business like a business or it's not gonna pay you like one, it's gonna pay you like a hobby. So make sure your stick consistency is key. Simplicity is key. If you can create a simple system to plug into the awesome corporate system that Josh and Jenna designed for this company, I can promise you sales, sale days, and every Thursday is going to be just as exciting, right? There's so many people that ranked up yesterday. It just blows my mind. And I'm super proud of all you that did. But you can literally do this every single Thursday. Fill your pipeline all week, sell it on Thursday. That's what the, my favorite part about the system is it gave us so many opportunities in a month and in a year to close, to have the sale. And that's why people that are doing this correctly are the ones that are on this call and the ones on all the other calls because they've mastered this. You have to become a master promoter. That's what we do, we promote. If you're not promoting roadshows, if you're not promoting Saturday, the Indianapolis virtual roadshow, if you're not promoting Manifest 2020, if you're not promoting Thursday, if you're not promoting every day, then you're not going to get paid every day. And what I love about this business is you get what you put into it. But what I love the most about this business is what you put into it you can collect on for years to come because this is a residual business. How awesome is it that when 
so many people in our company, when their linear income went away, their residual check from this company kicked in to pay what? Their residual bills, right? If you have residual bills, you need residual income, and I can promise you this is the place to get it. Now to answer Josh's other question, Africa and the international markets, they crushed it yesterday too. And I got to say, a lot of those markets did awesome in doing different things because some of those markets, CBDs, not, we're not even there yet, right? And they still ranked up. They still took advantage of the company excitement. And fortunately for me, I have some of the best leadership in the world in those markets, and they just handled it. I mean, we have some incredible people, and uh, incredible people produce incredible results. So this was definitely a worldwide My Daily Choice family effort from the affiliate side and the corporate side. And I just got to say congratulations to all of y'all. And I can't wait to see. I hope, I'm just going to throw this out there. I hope it's Orlando, but I don't know. If not, it'll be Nashville. If not Nashville, we'll keep bouncing. But I will see you in Las Vegas in, in August for Manifest 2020. So My Daily Choice, become master promoters, and you'll become, guess what, master affiliates. I'm going to leave that right there. Josh and Jenna, back to you guys. Awesome. Well, Chris, thank you for all the kind words about MDC and thanks for sharing some tips with everybody. I was talking to uh, some of your some of your guys in, in Africa and they were so fired up when they saw the sale and we had our African chats going crazy on Telegram. So congrats to your team. And once again, I just want to thank all the leaders, Aaron Parker, Robert Hollis, Candice Bird Davis, Barb Miller, Kristen Butler, Judy Stallings, and Chris Robinson. Once again, thank you guys uh, so much for coming on, supporting the sale. Congrats to you know all of your success that you guys had yesterday, and for the rest of the leaders that plugged in, uh, you know, to the webinar and that promoted the sale. Congratulations to you guys as well. Definitely go out there and promote the virtual event because we we still have more exciting announcements that we want to bring you guys. So there's still a lot of fun stuff. We think April is going to be a huge month. Really excited about 2020. Anything you want to? add to that no I'm just extremely proud of everybody thank you guys so much for repping the hemp works hemp works brand as good as you guys did I mean everybody was so classy everybody was good on the internet there was no drama everybody <laughs> came together we united as a family like Chris said on both corporate and affiliate side and uh, from the bottom of my heart we appreciate you guys and we are excited to bring this to you and stay tuned for what's to come because we're not done yet and this Saturday, be there or be square. We'll see you guys 10 a.m. Pacific Saturday. Bye, guys. Thanks All right, for hopping on. See you on. guys.